I, I'm working with the reasons why people with diabetes develop cardiovascular disease, particularly acute myocardial infarction and stroke, which is the primary cause of death in, in diabetes. And we're particularly interested in what makes the immune system attack the arterial wall. And that's the main reason for the development of the plaques that eventually are the cause of myocardial infarction and stroke. And interestingly, it, it appears that the lipoproteins, when they enter the uh, arterial wall, they get stuck and become oxidized. And also they are modified by, by glucose. And it, it's very interesting to see that that makes it difficult for the immune system to see if these still are self or if they could be some strange kind of bacteria. So they start to attack it. And the inflammation that's activated when they attack the lipids in the arterial wall drives the inflammation that drives the whole disease and eventually leads to the development of myocardial infarction and stroke. And the, one of the most important aims of our research is to develop therapies that teach the immune cells to recognize these particles as self and instead help to repair the artery wall. And if we can do that, then we decrease the risk of myocardial infarction and stroke in diabetes significantly. To understand why diabetes increased the risk of cardiovascular disease, it's a tremendous challenge. We thought for a long time it was rather simple. It's the sugar. Sugar would increase the stress on the arterial wall and that would lead to inflammation and that would sort of make everything worse. But then came the, the, the big clinical studies that show that just lowering glucose doesn't do the job. It doesn't prevent uh, the risk for, for myocardial infarction and stroke. So I think the greatest challenge we have in diabetes research and actually in cardiovascular research in general today is to understand why diabetes causes cardiovascular disease. Because we have to know that before we can develop effective therapy. But we had a very fascinating examples uh, how breakthroughs really come to reality in, in medical research sometimes. Initially, we were trying to demonstrate that it was this immune attack on the artery wall that caused the inflammation and then development of atherosclerosis and myocardial infarction. So we, we did an experiment where we tried to provoke this uh, immune attack. And we succeeded in provoking, provoking an immune attack, but instead we got protection. They got less disease. And what we just by chance had discovered was the existence of a protective immune system for cardiovascular disease that nobody knew at that time. The, 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 sh the short term goals for our research, say within the next two to three years, is to reach a much better understanding why diabetes activates the inflammation and the instability of the plaques in the uh, artery wall that, that caused acute events. And once we've done that, uh, then comes the really interesting challenge, how to develop the therapy. Yeah, and so once we understand this, and we do believe that this misguided immune response, when the immune cell starts to attack something in the artery wall, uh, thinking it's something foreign, that this is a very interesting target for new therapies. And we have developed already a prototype vaccine, which is generally aimed for cardiovascular disease in general, but that we think might be particularly effective in diabetes, uh, that by in sort of a, sort of a more secure, um, non-inflamed environment in the skin or in the gut, will teach the immune cells that this particle that looks like this is self. Please be kind. And we, uh, so the long-term uh, goal for us is to develop a vaccine which will prevent uh, cardiovascular complications in diabetes. This to do science is to me the most exciting thing you can do. Uh, it's driven by curiosity. The interesting thing is that we do our research, all the answers are already out there. We just have to find the questions, which is challenging enough. Uh, but then the combination of doing something that, that gives you a new challenge every day it challenges your curiosity, it challenges your knowledge, uh, your students challenge you, not the least. And do this at the same time that you know that if we succeed, you do something very good for man.